friends, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to share this video with you because it is a video that many of you have been asking for. Recently, in fact, I think it was last week and I think it's airing now, actually, I made it last week, but I did a video about my new approach to derma rolling and it is an approach that is totally supported by science, but it is also the safest way to derma roll your skin ever. And it's so funny that maybe even a year ago, I thought this cosmetic depth derma rolling did nothing. And a cosmetic depth derma roller has points on it or has needles on it of 0.25 to 0.3. And so it is a very shallow depth little needle. You, you know, you can get into the 0.5s, the one and on up, but those are little tiny needles that are in that derma roller. And these are little individual needles, which is important. But all of you asked, well, Beth, that's great that you do the cosmetic derma rolling on your skin to firm up your skin, but what do you apply afterward? So in this video, in just a few moments, I'll be showing you my evening skincare routine and basically what I do is I cleanse my skin all over and then I hit it with a toner, which I will show you. And it is a pore reducing toner, which I really, really like. And then I derma roll my skin and I won't show you the derma rolling process again because I'll link a video. Hopefully I will link a video wherever it links. There'll be a link in the description section below the video to show you exactly how I do derma roll my skin. But the neat thing about cosmetic derma rolling is that the science is showing that these shallow depth little cosmetic depth derma rollers produce the same response over time as more in-depth needles, as longer needles, with nowhere near the risk of scarring. In fact, with this little guy, there is like no risk of scarring, and to me that is great, but there is much less risk of harming yourself. And, you know, like the physicians say, it is important to do no harm, and I would like to firm and do a lot of good, and I actually use this at least two times a week, but I'm working up to consistently using it every other night, which I'll show you that whole process in just a few minutes in terms of all the skincare that I use around this little guy. And if you are not a subscriber and you're 30, 40, 50, 60 plus like me, 70, 80, 90, in fact, I was just in the nail salon today and this beautiful woman came in and she probably was Gosh, she looked like she was about 90, 95, but her skin was still radiant and beautiful. And I think it was her aide who brought her in. She was getting a pedicure. And that's what I want to be at 95. I want my aide to be taking me in to get a pedicure and still having beautiful, lovely skin. She had wrinkles from a life well lived. And that's what we all want. And that is what this channel is all about helping all of us age well, age beautifully, age gracefully. We are all going to age, but let's do it in the most graceful way possible. Okay, end of commercial. Hope you subscribe. Hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into this, and I'm going to show you all the evening skincare items that I use along with this little cosmetic depth derma roller. And then after the video, I'll be showing you this makeup. I won't be doing the makeup for you actually on camera, but if you would like to see this makeup, please add a comment yes. below the video because this is my new kind of makeup routine that I'm doing. It is much lighter. The eyes are not so intense. I'm not using my 90s heavy liner. Not to say that I may not add it back again every now and then just for fun, but in general, I'm lightening up on the eyeshadow, just a tad of glitter in the middle, no more shimmer anywhere else. Everything else is a matte. I am using cream shadows. I am using cream blushers, cream highlighters, and all I have is lip gloss on now. And again, I'll show you all of these products and I think they're just great after I show you my evening skincare routine. Okay, here I am and it is a Friday night and I'm going to go ahead and start taking off my eye makeup. And I use this CoverGirl Clean Makeup Eye and Lip Makeup Remover to remove my eye makeup. And I have used this every night for maybe, I don't know how many years. Could be since I was in junior high or, or high school. Maybe not junior high, maybe high school or college. Oh, looking like a raccoon. But this stuff really, really, really works. It really gets the makeup off. Man, you have to take your contacts out first. You know, I've never tried to open my eyes while I'm doing this and it doesn't feel good to open your eyes. So hold on, let me go ahead and try to get this sort of off. And here's a little wash rag. And normally I use these fantastic wash rags from Walmart. They are like totally cheap. I can't remember what brand they are, but they seem to be out of stock right now. Oh, look at that, very nice. And they are like maybe 19, 18, I guess, 
for $4.97 in their bright colors. And the weirdest thing happened, I have tons of those. And you know, they go quick because they're not great quality, but they're scruffly and they really work for washing your face. And so I use them and I would love to show you one, but for some reason, it's like socks in the dryer. For some reason, I washed a huge load of clothes last weekend, pretty much all the clothes. And you would think that I would have those wash rags. I mean, because I washed everything. And now, you know, I had a few during the week, but I probably had 30 of them and I don't know where they are. I mean, it's just the weirdest, weirdest thing. It's never happened. Oh, look how, how dark that is. Why is it so dark? That is super weird. Well, I just had glasses on and I'm a person who dents. <laughs> my uh, glasses leave huge dents and I was wearing my peepers. I don't know if you've seen them before, but I think they're so cute. They're one of Oprah's favorite things, I guess, the peepers. There we go. That's pretty, pretty good there. These are the peepers and they're readers and they're cool and they come in all different kind of cool animal print frames, different colors. I really love them, but I need them to read. So that's why I have them out here. Okay, that's the eye makeup. And then for the face makeup, I just take the wash rag and get it wet. And quite honestly, I don't really care that much what cleanser I use and I tend to switch around because you know, it just doesn't really phase me either way. So lately I've been using this Nip and Fab glycolic cleanser and you can see I've just hardly started it. So I would just use any cleanser that you're comfortable with. It does not have to be this one. And I'm just kind of trying this out because you may remember I did a video about the Nip, Nip plus Fab pads. I have no idea what Nip plus Fab means. Man, that looks super dark in there, yuck. Sorry girls, I don't think I ever have that much black. But I've definitely got it now. But anyway, I just do the best I can. This does not particularly foam, but that's fine. I just think you can pretty much use any cleanser. And usually I'll go for something very inexpensive. And I always think exfoliation is a good thing. And this has a little bit of glycolic acid in it, which is a nice exfoliator. So, and that helps you bring on the glow. Makes your skin smoother, more refined, a little bit glowier. I know this is kind of boring. It's just kind of what I do every night. And I am never one to leave makeup on my skin. No matter how tired I am, I, I can't remember the time that I have done that because I just think it is very hard on your skin. You have to get it clean every night. And the next step is a toner. And I have been loving this Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. And I love niacinamide because I do have some melasma along my forehead. And so that I think helps. And it says pore reducing, and I really think it is. I really think it's healthy. And I love the Paula's Choice brand. For a while there, I used a lot of her things because I believe certain things are very important to skincare. Vitamin A, some form of retinol if you're younger or, you know, tretinoin if you're a little older. And I've been using tretinoin generic for ever since I came to YouTube and maybe another year. So probably about five years. And I think it's really made a difference in my face, in my skin, really like that. And then you also need vitamin C in the morning for sure. And a good exfoliator, which I do that all the time. I like to use mild chemical peel pads, uh, masks, that kind of thing. Since I've been using this toner, I really feel like my um, like my pores look a little better. Okay, there is that pad, it looks good. Before you do the derma roller, and again, I have been using the 0.25 or 0.3 Cosmetic Depth Derma Roller for probably about six months now, at least a couple of times a week. I'm trying to get to consistently use it every other night and I'm not going to show you this tonight because I'm going to link a video that shows you in depth how I do this, but that's that little derma roller. And I alternate nights between using the derma roller or using these Nip and Fab pads, which I mentioned to you a minute ago, and they are just wonderful. So tonight is a Nip and Fab night, and I just take one of those little pads, and as you can see, I am really getting down 
I need to order another batch of those. And they're very inexpensive. I did a video about it, which I will link below. Maybe I'll link above. I think they're 12 or $13 for 60 pads, which lasts you a good long time if you use them every other night. But, ooh, there's a little bit of burn there because it is a, I believe, 5% glycolic acid solution. And so it is a great exfoliator. You can really feel that on your skin. I also do it on my neck and I try to remember to go up on my neck, but sometimes I don't. And that's just, it is what it is, as they say, as my husband would say. And then I take the back of that pad and then I also do my hands. I don't use a cleanser on my hands, but I try to remember to do every other step on my hands because our hands really do show our age. And <laughs> I like another video, which uh, if you want to see lobster claw hands, that was my hands. And now I have to say they look pretty nice. Okay, now that is really burning. And let me find something to just kind of, okay, we'll just do this. <laughs> this is the little, the little glasses case that the peepers come in. Let me see, I need to put these on real quick. Just a minute. You guys, I look like I'm a bug, don't I? Now the next step is to use my tretinoin, and this is a Curology prescription bottle, which has three different preparations in it, and I mix it with my Obagi blender. This blends with your tretinoin, and this is actually helping with my hyperpigmentation, or actually it's not hyperpigmentation, I keep trying to call it that, it's melasma that I have, because pretty much, my skin doesn't have a lot of brown spots because I was very sun avoidant. But anyway, let me get the peepers on again because I have to read to you what's on this bottle. Okay, it is tretinoin, which is my prescription strength tretinoin, transexemic acid, transexemic acid, which helps with hyperpigmentation, niacinamide, which also helps with hyperpigmentation. And so basically I use that, take off the bug eyes, and uh, I'll just use a little bit of that. And there's a link below my video. If you would like to check out Curology, you can use it for a month free. And I do really love that program. Then I mix it with my Obashi blender. There we go. And it just comes out like that. Just a little, little dab like that. The two of them are there. And again, since that Curology bottle contains tretinoin, you just need a pea-sized amount and I put it all over my face, and I do put a little bit, well, what I try to do is put it all over my face like this, and then I go up my neck, because I can tolerate tretinoin on my neck, and I take the last little bit that is left on here, which is not much at all, and I can tolerate having it down on my eyelids, but not everyone can, and my dermatologist says it's just fine, please check with yours, and if you start to get dry eyes, you should probably back off from that. And I put the last little bit on the back of my hands, but there's hardly anything left. So there is that. Now I've been experimenting with things to do for my neck because my neck is always wrinkled. And I had a video long ago on my channel showing the results before and after of the Gold Bond Neck and Chest Firming Cream. And in that video, it really, really worked. And people were asking me what to do to keep their neck firm. And I realized maybe about six months ago that my neck was not firm. And so I went back to that video and I thought, that worked before, I'm gonna do it again. So I watched my own video and learned. So there is that cream. Now the next step is something you should not do unless you've checked it out with your dermatologist. Now, it looks like I'm adding two different estrogen creams, but that is not really true. I have a skincare refrigerator over here that has limited space. And these actually come in very large jars. And usually, well, always, I have a large estrogen jar and a large progesterone jar, but I only had these little jars in old estrogen containers. So basically they look different, so I always know which one I'm using. This one is the estrogen, and you're supposed to use about a half a teaspoon of that. And this one is the progesterone, progesterone, and you use a quarter of a teaspoon of that. And I don't use the estrogen, but maybe every two days, something like that. And I just kind of eyeball it. There's about what I use of the, of the progesterone cream. And it is a plant-based cream. And I learned about it on Barbara Hoffman's channel. She does a lot with HRT, hormone replacement therapy. And basically I took it 
I took these jars, actually they weren't so grungy. I took different jars, see it's a little more of that. And I took the jars into my OBGYN and I said, this is what I was doing in terms of my estrogen and progesterone. And he said, oh, those are absolutely fine because I had tried the trochies. And every time I get on them, Alan would say, are you on those things again? You were acting crazy. And I was, it was, it was not good. I was never able to get those trochies, the hormone levels in that adjusted to where it didn't make me crazy. And so actually I started menopause when I was 50 and I started using those bioidentical hormones, I guess they're called in the trochies. And I did that on and off, mostly off for three or four years. And then I quit hormone replacement therapy altogether until maybe a, about a year before I came back to YouTube and I realized I really did want to, you know, use those creams and I felt better with them. Okay, the last step of this is just some CeraVe moisturizer. It says moisturizes throughout the night and helps restore the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid really helps your skin retain moisture. Niacinamide is a brightener and helps you deal with spots and also ceramides help build your collagen. So anyway, I'll go ahead and put that on my face and I just use a little bit. It feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. A little bit on my, my eyelids too. I try to take my time to do this because it does feel so good. And then I just do that on the backs of my hands. So anyway, okay, that is my face. And then I added this only about a month ago and I love it. And I actually bought maybe six or seven different kinds of chapstick from Amazon. And they always say you can get addicted. Your lips can get addicted to chapstick. And one of my sons is, he's got chapstick with him at all times and he's constantly applying it and I didn't want to get there. So what I decided was the best one out of everything I tried, O'Keeffe's Lip Repair, that's it. And this is a nightly treatment. So I'm not worried that I will get addicted to it during the day. And what happened is I went to my dentist's office and they know I have a YouTube channel and they're usually very complimentary. The hygienist is very complimentary about how I look, you know, it's very nice. But all she said this time is, oh my, your lips are so chapped, they're so chapped. And then I get out of the dentist and I realize that not only are they chapped, it's like lip skin is peeling off. And I realized how gross is that? And that lips are pretty central to our face and that I should be taking care of them. And ever since I started using this O'Keeffe's that basically my lips have never looked better. I mean, they're, they're very nice and moisturized and I do not have the chapped lips anymore. Okay, that was a look at my PM skincare routine. And if you'd like to see my morning skincare routine, please add a comment below the video because I would love to show you that. I've been doing some things a little bit differently in terms of my AM skincare. However, my PM skincare is probably the big kahuna in terms of the real anti-aging that I do. Now, let's get into these makeup products. Let me come in a little bit closer. And this portion of the video is sponsored by SkinStore.com, but that doesn't mean they paid me anything. That just means that they gave me a little voucher and I was able to order my choice of products on their website and all the opinions I'm giving you today are mine. Now this first product is not from skinstore.com, but this is Lumify. And for those of you who have been following my channel, you know that I went through a period where I let myself go. I was eating whatever I wanted. I wasn't exercising. I was sitting on the couch like a couch potato. I hardly wanted to make videos. I just didn't feel very good about myself. And during that period, oh, in that video, I show you how I got out of that. And I will hopefully link it above, but it's definitely linked below in the description section under the video. But during that period, I stopped doing about everything that was productive. And one of the things I stopped was Lumify because I was going out to Walmart buying the $20 large bottle and it wasn't lasting all that long. And I thought, you know, does it really matter? So I found this at Costco. And so I'll link this below. This is a very good bargain, the best bargain I've found. And these are two bottles for $30. So they're only $15 a piece, not $20 a piece. And let me show you the before and after picture, which reminded me what I'd forgotten, which is Lumify really does make a difference. As you can see in the picture above, this is just earlier today. I'd actually gone to work this way for the first half of my day. Red snake eyes is what I call them, red and yellow snake eyes. 
Then I put a drop of Lumify in each eye in the bottom picture, and one minute later, look how clear and bright my eyes are. So while all of us are anti-aging, our skin, our body, every part of ourselves, we forget that our eyes age too, and I hope to keep using this because I don't like those snake eyes. Okay, the first thing I have on my face is primer. I also have an eyeshadow primer on, and that is the Milani eyeshadow primer, I think, today. But this is a wonderful face primer, and I think this got an Allure Beauty Award. I'm not sure. I'll list it in the title there if I'm lying about that. I kind of remember it did, but I think it should have if it didn't. This is the Stilla One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. And look at that. It has peach, it has green, it has purple in it, or lavender, I guess. And what it does as a primer is you put a little between your hands, rub it all together so all those colors mangle together, and you put it all over your face, and I put it on my neck as well, most of the time. And I'll show you a picture of what it does. Here it is. You can see on one side, I do not have this primer on. And on the other side, it has canceled out the reds, the browns, the black spots that I have in my skin. I really think that it gives you a wonderfully even canvas to apply makeup. I really do like this, and if you have problems especially with redness, you might give this a try. Okay, now this foundation I'm wearing, I'm absolutely loving, and it is again at SkinStore.com and on every website in America probably, because I think this is probably America's most used foundation, or at least it's certainly up there in the top five or so. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. And I had actually had this in my makeup closet and I hadn't been using it for the longest time. I don't even remember particularly loving it before. And I saw that it was on skinstore.com and I thought, you know, I'll give that a try because I'm kind of doing a skin store related makeup. And when I use this, I was blown away by how beautiful it makes your skin. It is kind of a medium coverage, but you can pile it on a little bit to get a more full coverage, or you can sheer it out with a cosmetic sponge, you know, a, a beauty blender with a little bit of water. And by the way, you can get those at skinstore.com. And it absolutely does last all day and into the evening. I've been wearing it all week. In fact, at this point, I can't seem to pull myself away from it. And I do need to remind you that one thing that I love about skinstore.com, one of the major things is you can get high-end skincare and makeup that usually doesn't go on sale anywhere, except maybe, you know, with the big retailers, maybe once or twice a year, something like that. Skinstore.com is always running sales on these high-end products. So if you have any doubts about a product, if you can find it less expensive, check that out. And another thing is, and I'm going to post this below all my videos, I have a discount code there called Beth. And that is 25% off. Now, it doesn't necessarily work on every product. Sometimes different products have different sales and you'll have to take the sale price versus the 25% discount. But I did buy this with my 25% Beth discount and I really saved kind of a bundle. Okay, the next thing I have on my face is eyeshadow. And this is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Maxi Reloaded Palette. And this may or may not still be on Skin Store because I've had this one for a while, but they have a whole page of Revolution Makeup Eyeshadow Palettes. And I cannot believe how much I am loving this brand. Look at all these great colors. And I will say this is something to do with my eyeliner because I'm doing my eyeliner a little bit differently now. I'm using eyeshadow as eyeliner and I think it really just makes my eyes look not so disco-y, not so 90s. You know, I was a child of the 90s and I loved overdone everything. And I'm really trying to kind of whittle that down and have a softer, more glowy, more youthful looking makeup. Okay, basically on this eyeshadow palette, the only shimmer I have at all is I used a little bit of this with, mixed with this, kind of like that little shimmer on the lids. And then on the crease, on the upper portion, they call it the transition, I outlined it with a little of this light peach color all along the top of that, little halo there. And then in the crease, I used this more orange color, which I have never really thought I liked these colors before. For some reason, orange in real life just doesn't do anything for me. I don't like the color orange, but I have to say, I think it does beautiful things for our eyes especially if you have blue eyes, and I do have blue contacts in now. Apparently, orange colors, peach colors are supposed to complement blue eyes beautifully. If you have blue eyes, let me know if you tend to use oranges and if you like them. 
But anyway, there's that. And then in terms of the eyeliner, well, I used this little eyeliner brush and I sprayed it with Urban Decay Setting Spray. It's my holy grail. I love that. And then I went into this black color and I kind of dipped it in the dark brown too. And then I just kind of patted this along the slightly wet brush with the eyeshadow along there. And I came up with that line. And quite honestly, I'm getting better at it. I don't know. I just showed you my line. Maybe it wasn't perfect. But the neat thing about doing it this way is it really doesn't have to be perfect because it just creates a nice soft line. I'll show you the black. Oh, I'm going to make a mess here. Oh, look how dark black that is. It's mixed with a little of the peach. That's why it looks like a Halloween pumpkin with orange and black. And then here's a little of this dark brown. Oh my, look at the pigment in that color. Absolutely gorgeous. This is an absolutely beautiful palette. And again, I'll link to all of their Makeup Revolution palettes. And the neat thing about that, I think that palette was $20. And with my discount, it was only $15. So that was a really, really good buy. Okay, one more detail about my eye makeup though, is that I use the Angie from Hot and Flashy Brushes. And as soon as they are back in stock again, I'm going to do a video about creating an eye look with these brushes. Because just as we would all expect from Angie, she did her research, she knows what she's talking about, and if you don't think you're very good with eye makeup, if you get these brushes, you will be amazed because I think that's a beautifully soft, lovely makeup. Also, her blush brush is fabulous, and I guess I wouldn't tell you about the blush right now because I did use this brush, and I will link the BK Beauty brushes below, and that's what I used on my face. Ever since I got them, I'm exclusively using them, and I have a discount code below the video for the BK Beauty brushes and the Angie brushes when they come back in stock. But here is the blush that I have on my face. It's actually two, and there are two colors here. That's the little box. But these are the actual sticks, and these are cheek, lip, and eye colors. And I can't really imagine using these colors on my eyes, but you know, I feel like it would make me look like a bunny because one of them is very peach. It is called Peach Peony, Sweet Peach Peony. And the other one is called Body Language, and it is more of a rose. I'll show you Peach Pink Peony. Oh, I accidentally showed you the brush. It comes with a great little brush. And then there is Peach Pink Peony. And I'll go ahead and show you that. Let me see if I can show you. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Has a little bit of a gloss to it, a little bit of a shimmer, not bad at all. Extremely natural looking. That is what I have on today. Let me... Put this away here. Now, the second color I love, and I tried it last night, and I like it too. It's called Body Language, and it is a little rose. Okay, good. I give you the right end. There, there it is, and I'll just put it below the pink peony. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing here. Oh man, that's bad. Well, anyway, I hope you can see that. The peach peony is here, and the Body Language is here. So if you're a cool tone, you might want to wear the rosy color more. If you're a warm tone, the peach looks excellent. So basically, I put that on from about here up, from about halfway, you know, right under the iris on up. And then I used Angie's brush. And quite honestly, when I first saw Angie had a blush brush like this, it's kind of shaped like a triangle here. I thought, oh, why would she do that? I didn't think I liked that. I think I liked more of a circular head full of brush. Well, basically, I saw her use this, and she is right. This thing is beautiful. But basically, I just sheared it out like that and then turned it on its side, and it just totally buffed everything out beautifully. Love this. And then over that, I have this little luminizer on, and this is a beauty. And it is called, what is this called? Lumine Invisible Illumination Instant Illuminizer. And I think I'm going to add a little more. That's always so dangerous. I get on here with you guys and I just want to go, hey girl, look at this. That's what I'm doing. I'm hey girling. So here it is and it has its own little applicator and this bottle would probably last you for pretty much years. Let's go ahead. Oh gosh, you guys, why am I doing this? I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, I'll just do just a little bit. Do a little bit. I'll just use my fingers. Although I used Angie's brush actually. Oh my, isn't that gorgeous? Man, that is so beautiful. You know, that is the shine of youth right there. Youth in a bottle. And I love that because it has been a long time since my skin actually shined without something like this. But I think we're so lucky that they have been working on luminizers for maybe the past five years. At first, you know, it looked like you were wearing a strobe light on your face. It looks ridiculous, quite honestly. 
and I have so many little wrinkles here and I have a little scar thing here. So it, they look terrible. So I gave up wearing them. But look at that. I used it there and then I used it a little bit down the center of my nose and right here on the cupid's bow, just right there. I think you can see it made it look just a little bit bigger. So this is a fantastic luminizer and I'm really liking that both the blush and the luminizer are liquid formulas so they're not adding more kind of crusty powder look to our skin. Now we do need a little bit of powder though and I am loving this one and it, this is the Kevin Aquan, what is it called? Kevin Aquan Loose Powder. Oh that's pretty easy and it is a very beautiful powder and it comes with its own little puff which is quite unusual these days. You know you spend 30 or 40 bucks on a little thing of powder and you would expect a powder puff. We used to get these in CoverGirl you know when we were spending 350 on the compact so that's crazy. It's actually a very nice little very nice little powder puff very soft and silky and then it is protected here and there is the powder right there. Whoa there we go and I'll just put a little bit out here so you can see it. I just put a little tiny bit in there because I really don't need any more powder right now but it is the softest silkiest powder and look it has a little bit of a skin-like glow to it. Oh my gosh, I wish you could feel this. It feels like total silk. I wonder if I need it anywhere. You know, I really don't. Oh man, I, that's how I get really crusty and old looking is I keep applying things. I better stop that. But this is a truly beautiful powder. In fact, I think it's better than any high end I'm using at this point. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I do like that. I like this just as well. Absolutely a beautiful powder. And oddly enough, I am sitting on something that relates to Kevin Aquan, which they actually have on the Skin Store website. And this is a book I have had. And SkinStore.com has the paperback, the soft bound version. This is the hardback, so I can sit on it when I need a little extra height. And I use it for that a lot. But this is called Face Forward. And it's a fantastic how to do makeup book from Kevin Aquan. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, how beautiful, how beautiful. That was Madonna years ago. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, who is that? Oh, Vanessa Williams, remember Vanessa Williams? Ooh, what a pretty makeup she's got on. Oh my gosh, Raquel Welch and Hilary Swank, how beautiful. Okay, this is the one of Julia Roberts that I loved so much, and look at that beautiful makeup. And the neat thing about this book is, Kevin Aquan does not believe in hawking his own products in his books. So he will tell you get a matte brown shadow or a shimmery cream colored shadow or a certain color, a sheer red lip gloss. He does not sell specific products, which is wonderful because that means you can go to the drugstore and recreate these beautiful makeups. So anyway, that is also on SkinStore.com. Let me sit on it once more. Now I look like I'm really tall. I'm short-waisted, so I'm not very tall from my butt to my head. Okay, the last makeup item I'm going to show you is this Pixie by Petra Hello Glow set. And I'm showing you this because I don't have the blush duo on and I don't have their little luminizer there. I need to try that. And in fact, this is the first I've been trying the Pixie by Petra products. And so far, I really love them. I have the Pixie Glow Tonic here. And I'm going to try that because I hear great things about it bringing on the glow. And I'm always one that is really trying to exfoliate my skin and get the glow factor up. But anyway, this is the little lip gloss I have and it's out of that kit. I'll go ahead and put it on. There, you can see it there. And I'll swipe it here. I don't know if you can see that. It's, you know, a little hard to see. Okay, there we go. There we go. There is a look at it. Just a beautiful, soft, luminizing type glow. Here we go. And I am really kind of in love with this lip gloss that comes in this little kit because it kind of has that look, maybe a little bit 60s retro, but also a look like, you know, I just got up out of bed this morning, threw on a little mascara, a little lip gloss, and ran out the door, and don't I look fabulous, relaxed, and rested. So that is the look that I think it gives me. I don't know if it does. If you like this kind of lip gloss only look, let me know in the comment section. Or if you prefer adding lipstick underneath, I'm so with you girl in a lot of ways. Now that sounded stupid, Beth. I'm sorry. I'm not so with you girl. <laughs> I'm so with you. But let me know your thoughts on using lipstick or gloss alone, whatever you think. I'd love to hear your comments. Also, if you have any great lip colors you're using that you love, please list that in the comment section below the video. I have a ton of lipsticks, but it is so hard for me to find 
just those colors that make my heart sing, that make me go, oh man, that's a great look. I want to wear that every day this week. So if you have those that are your favorites, please list them. Well, this is a quick look at this makeup, and if you'd like to see a tutorial about it where I take you step through step through the makeup application, please leave that as a comment in the comment section below the video. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll click that bell and become a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family where we're all growing older together, but wiser and hopefully a little more beautiful each day. And this is the point in the video where I do my thought for the day, and I've been using these 50 scriptural insight cards called The Good Word. And recently, I've really been getting into reading the Bible more and also reading scriptures. I guess if you read the Bible, you do read scriptures. Let's choose this card. Well, that is the Lord's Prayer. And when I got this card, I was a little disappointed, first, because it is so long, and second, because all of you say this all the time and almost by rote. But then I realized that for me, and I'll move in a little bit, this is absolutely the perfect prayer for me, and I have probably said it I don't know, a thousand times, 1500 times, 2000 times in my life, because when I was in the AA program and I have not had a drink in now almost 22 years, in January it will be 22 years, praise the Lord, thank you so much. But basically at the end of every meeting, we said a portion of the Lord's Prayer. And so I will go ahead and read this to you. And I have just gotten this tip from, I think it was Joyce Meyer. She said, as you read scripture, try to really be there, be where your feet are, and really listen to the words and listen to each word and see what meaning you can get out of it. Okay, I'm going to read this and I'll just read it kind of slowly and we'll see if we can get some good meaning. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Matthew 6, verses 19 through 13. And the main things I get out of this are, thy kingdom come, not mine. Try to turn my will over to the, the will of the Father. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And you know, when haven't we really been given our daily bread? Something we take for granted, but it is a wonderful thing. And Forgive us our debts as we forgive others. That reminds me that I need to not hold grudges against people of all types and all issues I need to forgive. And that's very, very important for me to forgive just to help myself to forgiveness. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And that helps me remember that although it's important to suit up and show up in life, and to use the gifts that God gave me and the power that God gave me, that really the Lord is the ultimate power. And when I turn my life over to Him and ask Him to live in me, to ask to hear the Holy Spirit more on a minute-by-minute -minute basis, then I'm really inviting the kingdom of heaven into my life right now. And I hope you will do the same too. Take care, God bless you, and I'll see you in my next video.